Aqua Kids, we're going to now explore another estuarine habitat, a tidal creek. These tidal creeks are very important for fish populations. Juvenile fish will use these creeks as a sheltered habitat away from predators and in calm waters. And it's really easy to catch them using a dip net. Um, what you're going to do is just take the dip net and just put it in the water and pull it along down close to the bottom. Try not to dig up too much mud. You'll lift it up and I guarantee you'll get lots of juvenile critters down in there, including fish and shrimp. Look at these little shrimp. They're jumping out of our net as we go. And they're real little, again, juveniles. And they thrive back here in these calm waters where they're protected. Little itty bitty shrimp back in the water and grow up because you're not fit for a shrimp burger quite yet. We need them to grow up, we need them to grow up a little bit bigger. We've talked a lot about seafood today. I am getting hungry. And I really like to remind you that this is such an important area because this is where over 75 to 80 percent of our seafood starts out its life, why we call wow. it a nursery again. I think that's a really good point to make. I think a lot of people forget that in order to have healthy ocean life, you really do have to start inland because a lot of the food fish that we eat, that we yeah. love to eat, start as babies right here. That's right, we all impact the ocean. And here in these um, ecosystems like this, we, we admit that there's been a lot of mistakes made and a lot of development of really important areas like this. And when we develop areas like these marsh grasses, um, we lose a lot of natural habitat. That's really important for keeping our water clean and providing the essential habitat for these juvenile animals to grow. So we, we do need to protect our estuaries and we're lucky here within the Roosevelt Nature Area. We've got a, a great place to bring the aqua kids and to give you a chance to, to sample the diversity of this region. Salt marshes are the most diverse ecosystems in North Carolina. The only places on the earth that are more diverse or more different types of animals are coral reefs and tropical rainforests. So in terms of diversity and different animal species, this area is very, very important. See what you've got down in that net. Pull it on up, lift it up from the bottom. Dig in and see what you, ooh, check it out, some fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice mama chug. Look at that one, that makes a uh, very good bait fish. So a lot of fish like flounder fishermen will collect these and use them for bait for flounder, but I think it's best for us to let them go after you have a chance to check them out and look at them a little bit. There's a lot of fish back here, mullet and mummy chug and mud minnows and also other juvenile species that will grow up and move out to the open ocean. So it's a, a prime habitat, really important place. All right guys, one more thing before we go. We found a channeled whelk. This is a very interesting marine cool. snail that leaves here in North Carolina. And you can call it a channel whelk. We've got a couple of different types. This one's a channeled whelk because it has a channel that goes all the way around the spiral of the shell. And they're a really important animal. They live here on the bottom of the marsh mud, moving around and filtering out food that they find on the bottom. So they're also scavengers. Mm -hmm. Very important and interesting snails that live here in the marine environment. You know, Wayne, thank you so much. Yeah, I could thank you. My pleasure. Find the biodiversity. Thanks. Yeah, it's been fun, but we've gotten <laughs> we've gotten pretty dirt, dirty, you know? So I think it's time to go back up to the aquarium and clean up. Y'all ready to go? Yeah. It's been a blast, though. Come on, it. follow me. <laughs> Mud fights, boys. So let's review what we learned today. We learned how important estuaries are, from nursery grounds to the filtering of water. We learned how many different animals, plants, and insects can be found here. And we learned how few of these important habitats are protected around the world. We must work together to ensure that these wetland areas get as much attention as our beaches. And that people understand why we must keep these beautiful places around.